My name is Alex and I am Canadian. My dad's work actually moved our family internationally six times. That's back and forth between Santiago, Chile and uh, here in Vancouver in Canada. And from an early age, I kind of saw how motivated my dad was with his career and it's uh, kind of instilled a lot of the values that I have. From an early age, I saw um, what, how important a career was to one of my parents and I feel like that has shaped me into having the career aspirations that I have today. And currently I am an SFU uh, BD School of Business MBA candidate. The highlights of the MBA program at BD get involved with your extracurriculars. I consider that to be just as valuable as the learning process as you, or as the learning experience as it would be to be in classes, for example. The GMCCP, it's the Graduate Management Consulting Club program that takes you through um, consulting interviews and how to go through the interview process at a consulting firm like Deloitte or EY or Accenture, et cetera. And the way that those interviews are conducted is a very, different interview experience. It's almost like it's a different way of thinking and you have to be on your toes. Um, but I felt like that experience of going through the program um, really allowed me to practice my, practice resetting my business acumen in an interview format in a way that I wouldn't have gotten from just regular interview progress. So the GMCCC program um, was very helpful for that. Um, Student Ambassadors is another one. So that's actually how I got on, on this platform is because I'm part of the Student Ambassadors at SFUBD. And the reason why I wanted to get involved with that extracurricular was because I had somebody helping me with my application process and kind of you know cheering me on from the sidelines as I was applying for my MBA programs. And I wanted to do the same for somebody else because uh, I guess tying back into my psych background I like listening to people and helping people and motivating them. So that's why I joined uh, the student ambassadors group at SFU BD. And it's, we are an awesome group of students. Um, so it's been wonderful working with them. Um, yeah, I think that that's probably the best advice I could give someone is to take advantage of all the extracurriculars that are out there because as much as you learn from the courses that you take, you're, entire education experience can be enhanced um, tenfold just by taking part in extracurriculars. The SFUBD program really dives deep into who you are as a person. And I have developed so much, not just in, in learning new business acumen, but I've developed as a person. I've gone through um, stressful times where I've got to learn about myself and other people and think about the leadership style that I would have um, later on in my career just based on the experiences that wouldn't have been possible outside of an MBA. So it would be the experience that you have really diving deep into yourself and finding out who you are as a future leader. Given what's going on in the world right now, uh, everything that's happening with social movements, the pandemic, right now is the best time to invest in an MBA because we're going through a, peer, a period of tumultuous change. And I think that the leaders that are developed throughout this change are going to be the ones that lead the world on the other side of it. Deciding to embark on an MBA journey is a large investment, but it is worth it because what you're doing when you take your MBA is you're increasing the height of your ceiling. Uh, both career-wise, salary-wise, opportunity-wise, uh, you are widening the range of options that are available to you because of your education. If I were to describe the DNA of that makes up the people that are in my cohort, I would say that they are all people-focused. They all have values-based work is something that's important to everybody that's in this MBA cohort. There's not anybody that's too overly focused um, about achievements or accolades. It's everyone focuses on the quality of impact that they're having in the world. And I get the sense from the rest of my cohort that impact and positive impact on the business world that can lead to further change in other areas apart from business um, 
is probably what defines, what I would say defines the SFPBD cohort. Taking an MBA, yes, it's about furthering and advancing your career, but it's also about the impact that it has on you as a person. I feel like because I've taken an MBA, I've been put in situations where I can't be afraid to say what's on my mind. And being a woman in the business world, sometimes for, for us, it's difficult. Throughout taking the MBA program, my personal development has moved more in the direction of owning what it is that I want to say and being fully confident uh, in taking that podium and saying it. I have a non-traditional background when it comes to coming into an MBA program. Uh, yes, I have a diploma in business, but when it comes to doing your undergrad, I don't have a, a bachelor's in, in business administration. Um, first, I actually don't think that a program like SFUBD, if it helps, it's not required that you have that education. Uh, because SFUBD's program actually focuses on trying to get everybody in the cohort as diverse as possible. Because one of the things that they teach from is uh, teaching from different perspectives. So we have people in our cohort who come from a mix of backgrounds from, yes, business things like finance and accounting, but we also have a registered nurse in our program. We have someone that works in nonprofit. We have someone that is super gung-ho on sustainability, but all, the, all three of those people that I've just described don't have a business background. And that's because SFU focuses on uh, learning from people with diverse backgrounds and different perspectives. And I think that that's something that you get out of the SFU PD learning experience that I don't know if I would trust about getting somewhere else. So you're gonna look at your course roster and you're gonna see courses like managerial finance or economics or something that is incredibly intimidating because they describe theories with not just numbers and letters but also symbols and sometimes when you see that you want to sweat. <laughs> um, but the thing about um, SFUBD is that yes as much as your courses can be intimidating you're not in it alone like it's a collaborative learning experience where you learn from other people um your professors are also there to help you that's not to say though that it's a walk in the park because you're taking a full-time mba program it's going to be very strenuous but the trick is to not psych yourself out about it um i learned very early on in the sfu uh, bd mba experience this was in first semester that because i had a psych background Classes like organizational um, organizational theory or uh, leadership, for example, those were classes that I excelled in because of my background. Whereas other people that maybe had the traditional background didn't do as well as, at that, but they excelled in the courses that had business analysis or finance or accounting, for example. Like, you're not going to be good at everything. You just have to make sure that you're going to put the pedal to the metal and what I don't know what the the axe to the grindstone when things get tough, um, the tough get going, meaning that you need to put in the elbow grease, but know that you're not alone. I've actually said this to people before um, when, when they ask about how my MBA is going. And I always say that the two best decisions in life that I've ever made, first one is getting engaged to my fiance. And the second is doing my MBA. Um, it doesn't matter to me what the financial investment is. Um, it doesn't matter to me the time that I'd be taking off of work. Um, actually, the thing that I would tell myself as I was preparing my application is how bad do you want this? And despite hitting a wall, studying for the GMAT or being frustrated about um, like not being able to get your answers quite right on your, on your um, application essays, it was always asking myself, how bad do you want this? And because I wanted it so bad, it was it was easy to make the decision. It's just, I just got to put the pedal to the metal and grind through it because I know that it's going to be worth it. And so far on the other side of it, coming close to graduating, finishing the academic portion and starting my internship, um, I wouldn't have done anything different. It's definitely worth it.